how to make all of your images appear the same size. Here's how to do it without any image editing software or technical skills. Now, so here's a trick that uh, you'll benefit from if you're a graphic designer or a web designer. So most of the time uh, when you get these images from your client or when you take photos, the size, the dimensions can be different. So I'm going to share with you my three ways of achieving this effect. Okay, so the first way, which was what I was doing uh, for quite a long time is, I mean, if you know me, <laughs> I use PowerPoint to do all of my editing. So this was what I did back then when um, I received all the images from my clients. I'll just put everything in PowerPoint. What I will do is I will draw a rectangle. Okay. Empty this uh, fill, make it no fill. I would increase the border thickness. Okay, so it's easier for me to see. So uh, I will make all of them into to fit in this uh, rectangle. So I'll just do it quickly. Uh, we would like to preserve the main focus of the image and not the ceiling. So what I would do is I would crop it. Okay, to fit this rectangle. It's, it's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> it gets the work done. Okay, so uh, I would like to keep the grip small. So I'll crop it. Okay. Okay, this I would resize it. Mm. I'll crop the right side. Probably I don't really need the chest. Do I need the chest? Yeah, I think I want the chest. So yeah, um, I'll move it here and crop them here. Okay, last. I would like to keep more of this. Yeah, I guess it's a fine compromise here. So I'll just crop both of these and I'll move it on. Till I can see this border. Okay, so now you have four images which the size are the same. Also, it seems. But if you are a perfectionist, like sometimes I have this problem, I'll show you why this is a what why I stop using this method. Okay, it's because if I move it, if I want to export these images. You can see the dimension 661485. I'll take another image. 671485. So there's a bit of a difference. So although it seems that it's gonna be the same, it's not really the same. So what I did was I have to spend my time to crop it manually in Paintbrush. So this is a, a very it's a non-ideal way. Okay, but it's the first method. If you are new to this, you could use this. Now, the second way is you could use your page builder to manually set a size. Okay, so um, depending on what page builder you are using, you could specify the size you would like, which is let's say I want 300 times 320. Okay, you could do that. Okay, the downside of this method is you can't choose um, <laughs> where did all my images go? The downside of using uh, this method, which is to use your page builder to resize it, is you can't actually choose the what to keep and what to uh, throw away, if that makes sense. Okay, so because uh, it basically does it for you, the platform, the website will do it for you. So it's uh, not ideal. You do not have as much control. Uh, you can see it's actually faster because you can just type in the dimensions here. It is faster, uh, but you are giving up on, uh, you're losing control over what you get to keep and what you can't keep. And more importantly is if your website 
has to uh, manually resize all of these images. Uh, it does slow down your website speed. Um, if you want to know more about website speed, you could use uh, GT Matrix and uh, run and test your web page. If you ask the page builder to manually resize the images, GT Matrix will show you it does slow your website by quite a bit. So uh, it's not recommended. So this is the two I mentioned. Uh, you can see this is before the changes. It's the images are different size. 2.7 seconds loading time, 700 kilobyte. 2.7, 750. Now it's 2.3 and 500. Yeah. So uh, just with this little trick, you are you are going to boost your website loading speed. You're going to increase the conversions. It's just wonderful. So I'm going to share with you the third method, which uh, solves all of these problems, and it's actually. Uh, much easier to do compared to the first and second way which is a surprise so i found out this trick today and i was so impressed i'm like you know i think i should shoot a video to show uh just how good this is so first things first um can i just drop my images here yeah i can so just by dropping the images here now i get to choose what i'm going to keep I get to choose the size which I want, but just uh, just to illustrate the point with, let's just go by 300 by 300. Okay, let's just pick a square. So after you type in, just select another, so they will all update. For example, for example, I'm using 1300 here. You can see it's still a square. So you will want to move it over to the next column so it reflects. All right, so small tip there. Now you get to choose exactly what you would like to preserve. So you get the benefit of using the PowerPoint, you get the benefit of the size. Okay, everything is good. Once you are happy with this, just save as zip. You will download all of it. It will compress and download all of these files to you. And you can now just upload it to your website. And it will look uh it will look like this. All right. So I hope this uh, video tip is useful for you. And if you like to learn more about uh, site hustlings, especially graphic design, uh, digital marketing, subscribe to the channel. Um, I produce guides very frequently. It's uh, pretty easy to follow, even you have no experience. So I'll see you in the next video. If you find my guides useful, like this video. Comment below and subscribe to the channel.